Hey folks, Zachy's here. Just wanted to go through the new ship I got, give you guys a quick tour, like I did to the uh, previous ones. I happened to get rid of my Hornet Tracker variant. Decided to go with one of the Constellation uh, variants, the uh, Taurus, which is uh, the hauling variant. I guess hauling slash smuggling variant would be more appropriate. Sort of a bare bones hauling uh, ship. So it doesn't have some of the features of the other constellations, and it's not as pretty, I guess. But uh, it makes up for it with, I think, about 1,900 freight units compared to, I think, the other constellations. The largest one is the Aquila that has, like, about 500. But then it also has a rover, so, for exploration purposes. So who knows how much of that, you know, is actually left over for any type of cargo space. Um, so let's go check it out. It's the first time I've actually seen it, uh, myself. So, it's got, it looks like it's got a darker skin to it versus the other, uh, variants. Definitely got a weathered, um, it's almost got like a, I want to say Millennium Falcon Serenity type feel to it. Looks a little weathered, beaten up. Like it's been through, uh, its fair share of space. Here and there. Like sweet engines. Got all of these engines. Um, the Taurus also gives up the P-52 snub finder as well. Uh, probably to make up for cargo space, I would assume. Uh, it's got the sort of the engineering area in the rear. So basically, it's all cargo space in here. Bare bones, you know, stow it and go kind of ship, which is pretty cool. There's a button here. I don't think we can press that yet. Nope. Alright. Get up in this ship here. Yeah, as you can see, it's got sort of a weathered look. I think there's a couple of people complaining about that. I'm not sure whether it's a, supposed to look like this or it's like a damage state, because I know they were working on those different damage states for the actual ships. I like it, though. Again, I feel like it gives it sort of like Millennium Falcon type feel. Like, it's been through a lot. But it's still going. So. Let's go check out the cockpit here. Uh, it's only got it's only got one turret. Because um, actually below here, instead of the uh, second turret, which would be directly below this one, there is a shielded sort of smuggling cargo compartment. Um, to stow some of your illegal goods, which would probably prevent you from uh, prevent them from being found during a scan by the UEE or whatever. Um, you can't currently get in there. I think the only way is I've seen it is clipping. Um, but it's a decent size. I mean, it's not huge, but you'll be able to fit a decent amount in there. So they're obviously still working on it, like, um, you know, computer displays and everything, but it's got a, a ton of view space, which is awesome. I mean, a lot of visibility up in this cockpit, which I really like. And uh, plenty of seats for your friends. The crew, max crew is four, so I figure the one guy on the gun, radio operator, maybe scanner operator. Yeah. I don't know if we can get in this turret here. I'm not sure they enabled that yet. I don't see any way to do that. I'm not getting any prompts or anything either. Odd, but okay. This is like a little, uh, little crew area. Taking a break, eat a little bit, you know, usual. Pretty sweet. I could actually sit down here too. Who keeps leaving their dirty dishes around? That's what I want to know. The, f the heck, man. All right. Let's go check out the rear, which is the most important part, the cargo area. Oh, and you got your bunks here. I think they also double as uh, escape pods, if I'm not mistaken. And I just got trapped by a ladder. All right. Fantastic.
Which is why they look sort of so smart and utilitarian. They actually look like cargo crates. Yeah, so I think these are actually your escape pods as well. Gotta make sure my pillow is all, you know, good. Fluff it up a little bit. Got a whole computer display. Same thing on the freelancer, actually. I think all those bunks come with that. Unfortunately, there's no cup holder or anything. You know, midnight snack and all that. Oh, yep. Bathroom, that's important. Gotta have the bathroom. And the shower, of course, you know. Pretty dirty shower. This is the cargo area, which is a massive amount of cargo space here. You've got your airlocks as well, which over here, over there, your, not your airlocks, excuse me, your docking area, docking collars, I guess would be the term for it. And then, I guess you got arrows to the emergency exit, looks like. Oh yeah, that's pretty cool. In, in case of fire, or other disaster. And then back here would be sort of the engineering area, I guess, if we had a crew member back here. Looks like, um, you know, maybe some sort of engine access kind of thing here. Nothing to interact with, though, at the moment. Um, and then there's another docking collar on the other side, obviously. Again, I don't think any of this works yet. jump down here. Oh, huh, well we can't open this from the inside, huh? This is pretty slick because you can drive your whatever right on here loading cargo on and off and then just raise it back up. Pretty nifty uh, cargo loading, I guess elevator you'd call it. I like it. I like it. But uh oh. I guess the ladder doesn't work, huh? That's okay, we'll go out the other side. Go to the front here. Weird, but alright. A little still a little things to be worked out, some kinks, of course. Oh yeah, it's pretty much the Taurus variant of the Constellation series. They released a uh, couple more besides the base model. They have a, a, the Aquila, which is an exploration variant, which as I said before actually has its own rover, which is pretty sweet. Um, and it actually has a different has a different cockpit view as well. Um, a more rounded cockpit area, I guess for, for more viewing space? I don't know. I haven't been in that one, so I, I couldn't tell you, but I mean, I'm pretty content with all this space up here, especially when you're in the captain's seat, you know? But, uh, whoop, there's the outside view of the constellation. And then there's also the Andromeda, which is sort of a, I guess just a base model constellation. And then there's the, uh, Phoenix, which is a luxury version of, uh, Constellation, all kinds of swanky stuff inside, and uh, it's got a different snub fighter. It's got some sort of upgraded snub fighter for that. It doesn't have the Merlin. Can't remember what it's called off the top of my head right now, but uh, yeah. So this thing sacrifices the lower turret, obviously, for its little shielded area up here. So you got the upper turret, and you got some missile racks which you maintain as well. Um, so it's still decent armament. Nothing too crazy, but it's got a lot of cargo space, so I'm looking forward to be able to um, do some serious whole missions with this, or smuggling missions, because who wants to be legal anyway? Um, and I do like the weathered look of it, I think it looks really cool. That, that and it's got sort of a darker paint scheme to it than the other constellation, I guess maybe because it's supposed to be weathered and used and stuff. 
definitely like it though. I wouldn't change it. So yeah guys, that's my little quick tour of the uh, Constellation Taurus. And uh, look forward to see you guys in the verse.